Why don't we talk about outbound email? We can send email from Salesforce to uh, a person. There is a uh, messaging class with a send email method. There are two types of emails that we can send, and I'm going to talk about the, the two different classes, but there are single emails and there are mass emails. It's analogous to what you've seen within the, the, the tool where you go in if you send a single email to a, you know, a contact versus if you go in to a campaign and you send out a mass email. Uh, so those are the, uh, their implementations within the application. You can send plain text, HTML. You can utilize email templates. Those can be standard mail merge ones, or you can uh, utilize the uh, Visual Force email templates. There are governor limits. So much like we can do 10 web service callouts and 10 calls to asynchronous Apex, we can do 10 calls to the send email within a uh, single transaction. Now, the thing about that is that the send email uh, method receives a list of these email objects. So uh, don't think that this means you can only send out 10 emails. Uh, you could send out, or one call to the send email method can contain many emails, and each email can have many recipients. Okay? Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, single and mass emails sent from Apex count against the daily mass uh, email limit, okay? And so what is that limit? Well, it's basically 2,000. You get to send uh, 1,000 single emails and you get to send 1,000 mass emails uh, per day, okay? It's a very low uh, number, but at the end of the day, Salesforce is not in the business of doing, you know, high volume email. You would need to be very, you know, restrictive in terms of who you're sending these emails from due to those uh, two 1,000 limits. But there is a big caveat to this. There's no limit to the number of internal emails that you send. Uh, and I'll talk about what is an internal email, but it's basically one where you send it to a Salesforce user. So if you're sending it externally, that's where we apply the 2,000 limit. And by the way, that's not, uh, that's not 1,000 multiplied by the number of licenses. That's 1,000 multiplied by the number one, okay? So it's an org level uh, limit that we place. Uh, but when it comes to sending it to your own users, Go crazy, okay? So let's talk about the outbound email classes that uh, we would use to send these emails. So first of all, there is the single email class and there is the mass email class. Now, both of these classes have a lot of commonalities. Both of them have things like the subject, the reply to, both of them support using email templates to build up the body of the message. Single emails is where we're more, we have more flexibility in terms of manually building up the email. Here what we would do is we'd specify our attachments. We could manually create an HTML body or a plain text body. Now there's a few important options down here. There's the target object ID, the what ID, and then two addresses. So two addresses are strings. So if I sent an email if I wanted to send a single email message to uh, you know, Barack Obama at whitehouse.gov, what I would do is I would set the to address uh, of the string Barack Obama at whitehouse.gov. Okay? Now, the alternative to that is the target object ID. And here under the mass email, it describes the way that this works. This would be the ID of a contact a lead or a user. So uh, these are the three standard objects that this supports and it does not support custom objects and the reason is is that what it does is it goes through and it's written to look at the email standard field on each of these different objects. Now when you specify a target object ID and it's equal to a user 
then what we do is we go, okay, this is an internal email, therefore we do not count it against the daily limit. If you were to do, like for instance in my case, uh, in uh, the internal Salesforce org, uh, my email address is cberry at salesforce.com. If I would have set to the, one of the two addresses to cberry at salesforce.com, I'm using one of those 1,000. It doesn't have the smarts to say, oh, okay, you know, I, I see that you're uh, also a user. You need to, to say this is internal exactly, you need to use either the top, tar uh, you need to use that target object ID, so set to a user. Uh, contacts and leads count as external emails. Uh, there's also the what ID. Notice, by the way, on the single, this is a singular, and then on the mass, this is plural. Uh, but what the what ID is, this is a, a reference to, let's say I have a custom invoice object and my email template is going to take the data from that invoice record and do a mail merge. So it's going to populate, you know, whatever fields I'm referencing within that email template. That's exactly what the what ID is for. So if we're sending, you know, uh, information about uh, a case to one of our internal users, we'd have the case ID being referenced so we can do that, that merge of the data into the template. You'll notice this one's plural. So if we uh, create a list of, let's say, 10 target object IDs and 10 what IDs, it's basically the zeroth recipient will receive, which should be associated with the zeroth record, okay? So we go through and we, if we have 10 invoices and 10 people to send them to, uh, we need to make sure that the order of those lists are uh, the same. The send email method is going to return a uh, flag is success, indicating whether or not we were able to successfully generate the email and hand it off to the outbound email server. That's all this is telling you. It's not telling you whether the person has actually received it. So once Salesforce sends the email out onto the internet, now we're oblivious to what's going on out there, okay? So you might get back an error if it fails, and you can check that. So taking a look at the way that the send email method works, uh, what we would do is, first of all, it takes a list of either single email messages or mass emails, and what we would do is we would pass it to this method, uh, here, what we're doing is we're using array notation to ultimately create a, uh, a list of single emails. And here is our uh, single email message right here that we'd be building up, setting the subject, setting an HTML body, setting the uh, two addresses in the email addresses field. And then finally, we'd check the results. And if it was a success, uh, then fantastic. If not, uh, then we probably need to uh, do some sort of error handling. Okay? All right, let's do a module review quiz. So uh, question number one, uh, what are the basic steps for creating an email service? All right. So you create a handler. Okay. Um, so you create the, the, the code, right? Right. Yep. So you define the email service, very good. Right. So you say how you are handling it, what email addresses or domains you are willing to receive it from, what to do with errors, discard or bombs. Very good. So you configure that email service, set it up, right? And then you create an email address which will invoke the handler. Awesome. So you, you, you basically write the code. You create the email service, and then you generate uh, uh, one or many email addresses that you can send email from to, or I should send email to, uh, that will execute your uh, code. Question number two. How many inbound emails can all email services combined consume within a day? Nope, not 100. <laughs> What's that? Exactly. So, uh, thousand per license. So, thousand per license. All right. Can an inbound email service process uh, binary attachments as well as plain text attachments? Yes, it can. 
Can we restrict the domains from which an email service can receive emails? Yes. Yes, we can. Do emails sent via Apex to internal Salesforce users count against our daily limits? No. They do not. Can we use a Visual Force page uh, in an email template? Yes. Yes, you can. So uh, we have a bunch of tags specifically geared towards email templates, right?